Hello, I'm investigator Marissa Lenz, and today we are going to work together to solve Mike's crime. Just last week, when Mike returned home, he noticed that his cookie jar was missing. Mike immediately called me so we could do a, dinger, a fingerprinting analysis. First, when I showed up to the crime scene, I was able to find the thief's hair so that I could have the criminal's DNA. Next, I noticed some of Mike's hair on the cookie that he had baked. I took both pieces of hair to use as evidence. Next, I asked Mike to list off the people that had keys into his house so I could get their DNA and see if it matched up with the criminals. Mike's mom, Mike's best friend Mark, Mike's neighbor Lucy, and Mike's dad were the four people that Mike confirmed had keys to his house. I then requested the DNA of the four suspects. The suspect's DNA and the crime scene evidence DNA were then amplified on two different V and TR loci on two separate gels. Using two loci makes it more accurate to find the correct suspect because the sample DNA will match up perfectly with the suspect that stole the cookie jar on both loci. Now, using loci 1, I can tell Mike is a biological child of his mom and dad because if you follow the bands horizontally, Mike's first band matches his mom's first band, and Mike's second band matches his dad's second band. Since Mike has a band that matches up with each of his parents, it confirms that Mike is a biological child of his parents. Now to find the thief. Crime scene sample 1 is the same as Mike's band, so we can confirm that sample 1 was Mike's hair. I can tell this because if you follow the bands horizontally, Mike and sample 1 match perfectly. Now crime scene sample 2 is the criminal's DNA. We need to find the DNA of the suspect that is a perfect match. As you can see, sample 2 matches perfectly with Lucy and Mark. If you follow the bands horizontally, you can see sample number 2 and Lucy's bands are identical, and the same goes for Mark's bands. But Mom's bottom band matches up with sample 2's bottom band. However, her top band does not match any of the sample 2 bands, therefore Mom cannot be the cookie jar thief. Looking at Dad's DNA, none of the bands match sample 2 bands, therefore Dad is not the cookie jar thief either. Next, I will look at loci 2 so that I can figure out if the cookie jar thief is Mark or Lucy. To start, using loci 2, Mike is a biological child of his parents because Mike's second band matches his mom's first band and Mike's first band matches his dad's first band. Now, looking at the crime scene samples, we can confirm that sample 1 was Mike's DNA because the bands are identical. This means that sample 2 is a cookie jar thief's DNA. Comparing sample 2 with mom, we can see that they are identical. However, since mom did not match perfectly on loci 1, she cannot be the thief. Comparing sample 2 with dad, we can confirm he is not a thief because none of his bands match sample 2 bands. Next, Lucy and sample 2 bands are a perfect match. This confirms that Lucy is a cookie jar thief since her DNA on loci 1 and loci 2 are identical. To confirm crime scene samples DNA. Furthermore, we can prove Mark is not the thief because Mark's first band and sample 2's first band do not line up. This is how I use gel electrophoresis to solve a crime of cookie jar thief. In conclusion, Mark took his keys from Lucy so she could not steal any more cookies. These are my references.